Now that we have our background all the way dry, we are going to put in our shapes for our hot air balloons. Now you can add as many hot air balloons as you want. I'm gonna put three and I'm gonna do a large one, a medium one, and a small one so it kinda looks like they're going off in the distance. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna start with our round brush with white paint and we are going to create our shape. So to do this, we are gonna make three circles, okay? And this is just gonna be the top of the balloon. And as my circles kind of get smaller, they're just gonna be off in the distance a little bit more. So as you can see, I've got this one that's the closest to me. That's a little bit further away and this one's really far away. So I'm just making three circles on my canvas. Now to take this from just being a circle and turning it into what looks like a hot air balloon, I am going to add on the bottom of it a small little square. Okay, so I'm just adding on the bottom of these a small little square. And then I'm just going to connect the dots. So I'm gonna go from this side of the balloon down to that base of my square and I automatically have a great shape. And I'm just gonna fill this in so that I've got a nice white background to add my color. Hot air balloons can be any color you want. And so starting with a nice white background is gonna make it a little bit easier for you to add your color in. So again, all I did was I went from the edge of my balloon to the corner of my square and I painted it in. I've got this great hot air balloon shape. Great hot air balloon shape. Perfect. Now, while I'm letting these dry up a little bit, we're actually gonna build our baskets and our baskets are gonna be just below our hot air balloons. I'm gonna make my baskets um, be a white color to start with, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of color to it. So just underneath every one of these hot air balloons, I'm going to draw a small square. If you need to switch to your smaller brush for this, you can. But I'm just gonna draw a small square underneath each one of my hot air balloons. Of course, my biggest hot air balloon is gonna have the biggest basket. Perfect. I'm gonna set this brush down and I'm gonna grab my baby brush. Because with my baby brush, I'm gonna make the lines of my balloon. So the lines are gonna go from the edge of the balloon to the basket. Now, if you have a hard time making these lines with a skinny brush, you can always use a Sharpie after your picture is dry. So feel free to switch to a Sharpie to make your lines if you need to. Now that I have my balloons ready and my baskets finished, I'm gonna add my basket colors. Now, the baskets are normally a brownish color, an orangish color somewhere in there but you can make yours any color you want. I think I'm going to make mine kind of a light yellow. So even though I have white on my brush still, I'm gonna grab some yellow paint and I'm gonna mix it in with this basket right here. I'm gonna have a light yellow for this basket. Perfect. And then these two baskets over there, I might change a little bit. I might actually mix up a small orange. So I could take some yellow, put it on my palette and a little bit of red on my palette and mix that up really nice especially with that white on my brush I'm gonna get a nice orange color I'm gonna paint the next basket in that orange color I just made and my last basket I think I'm gonna make that basket be blue so I'm gonna wash my brush off and I'm gonna use straight blue because my background's already a light blue. So I'm gonna use straight blue, washing my brush off so that I don't have any white in it. There we go, I've got my three baskets finished. 
So now I have to decide on my design for my hot air balloons. And this is really where you're gonna get to have some fun. I'm gonna show you a couple different things you can do and then you get to play on it with your own. So you can have any color you want. It's completely up to you, but I'm gonna start with yellow and I'm gonna use this big one. I'm gonna show you guys how I can take this and I can add stripes down it. See how I made that stripe right there? But on a hot air balloon, because it's rounded, you actually wanna make the center of that stripe be just a little bit thicker and go a little bit more narrow. Okay, and when you do that, you start to kind of set this shape. And the shape that we have is almost like a little bit of a long oval. So then my next color I'm gonna add on there is going to be pink. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna follow this line right here, which is gonna just arch my pink line just a little bit. It's gonna arch my pink line just a little bit. I'm gonna do that on both sides. Hot air balloons are often symmetrical, which means that both sides are gonna look the same. It's usually a repeated pattern. So I'm just gonna make both sides kind of swoop out and down. Perfect. I'm then gonna add maybe some blue to it. And as you can see, I'm running out of room on the bottom of my hot air balloon. So my lines are gonna get skinnier as I go down. My lines are going to get skinnier as I go down. So this is one way to design your hot air balloon. And my last color I'm gonna put on here is gonna be pink. Now for my littlest balloon back here, I'm just gonna make some polka dots. So I'm gonna take the back of my big brush with red paint and I'm just gonna add some polka dots to it. It's going to be a white and red polka dot balloon. So you don't have to go with the stripes, you can go with the polka dots. And my last balloon, I'm just gonna paint one solid color. So this is how you have options. You can choose how you wanna make your balloon look. I'm gonna have this one be pink. The whole thing, one nice solid color pink. Now, on our water, we can actually put some of those colors underneath where our balloons are to just show that our balloon has been there and that it's highlighting on the water. But my little red and white one's probably too far past the water to put any highlights on it. But by just taking a little bit of paint on my brush, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of pink, I can make it look like my hot air balloon is directly above it. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some details to my basket. I'm going to take my flat brush and I'm gonna squeeze those bristles really tight. I'm gonna dip it in black paint. And then for my details, I'm just going to make a couple of stamps going horizontally and vertically. So it looks like a basket. I not put any, I think if I'm gonna do it on the small one, I'll probably use my round brush, my small round brush. I could draw those little lines on there. But on that big basket, that flat brush worked really well. Last thing you have to do, sign your name. I'll see you guys next time painting with a purpose. Have a great day.